racing incidents. I don't know what the stewards will think of that. Lewis could, could Hamilton have done anything to give Max Verstappen room there and avoid that crash? He was on. Uh, um, yeah, I hope, uh, hope Lewis is very happy with himself. You don't do that. You don't. You just don't stick a wheel up the inside of cops so on. You know, in that corner. So we can see why. Science on the outside squeezes Grosjean and then gets hit by him. That could have been an airplane crash. They were very lucky there. Science was lucky. Didn't give him enough room, did he? What, what was the first sound here? <laughs> I pneumatici più freschi di Raikkonen danno modo al finlandese di aprire prima il gas ed avere maggiore accelerazione in uscita dalla uh, Lufield riesce a... Guys, if you hold the start of the Grand Prix up, and this then is Raikkonen making his way through, this is a replay of course, of Raikkonen getting the line into Cobbs and Coulthard says... ...racing here at Silverstone, and it's his second and look already they're making moves to pass, look at that, Raikkonen, fabulous move on Trulli, what an opportunistic move that was. Yes, Raikkonen... Kimi Räikkönen is absolutely on it, the car totally underneath him, now look he's got the Toyota halfway down the pit straight, Räikkönen absolutely flying, he speed with uh, their tyre chain, and look can Räikkönen make it stick up the inside now, Got yes he can, and that is crucial but it must have cost him a of Charles Leclerc, Valtteri Bottas pursuing Sebastian Vettel, then comes Max Verstappen, Ricardo, and then Raikkonen, Hulkenberg, Leclerc, Ocon, Magnussen, and Sainz completed the top 10 on board, but Kimi Raikkonen going through Cobbs now, flat out alongside the Red Bull, and Raikkonen gets ahead of Daniel Ricciardo, there is guts and there is bravery, Ricciardo trying to fight back, but he can't get through at Maggots. Kimi Raikkonen is the oldest man on the grid at 38 years old, and that was incredibly brave to just go steaming into Cop's corner like that. That always fair, always respectful, always uh, uh, a tough competitor, but uh, all is cool. So always very fair and, and no tricks. So in that aspect, I think uh, yeah, I will miss him because you know you 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 knew that you could trust Kimi when you were side by side because he will never do any any crazy thing or, or anything that put in danger uh, any of the two. I remember looking up to him um, in, in the early early days, you know, uh, with the fights that he had with Fernando. Um, what was it like going wheel to wheel with Kimi? Kimi was one of the one of the better drivers to go up. It was it was tough, but very very fair. And you just knew that he was one of the most skillful drivers. I don't think uh, I have ever not respected him actually. So I don't think why we have to discuss that. But then yeah, racing against Kimi was awesome, and see what he achieved at McLaren. But uh, it was fair. It was. Uh, but it was aggressive. It was. Uh, we went into bridge like uh, it was one coming out. So it was. Uh, but it was fair. It was good. It's, uh, it's been nice also racing with him because he's one of one of the drivers that when when you race with um, you're, you're quite quite comfortable. You know, going wheel to wheel, and uh, he's always had good respect to to his competition, and that's that's the way I like. He's just Kimi. He's a name itself. He's a. Uh, He's obviously a, a myth. 